So, everyone has already seen my latest um, post on YouTube, I'm guessing. So, here is the deal. Finally, a red power destroyer. And now, this one has a really weird, you know, it's weird. It's It just feels like if it wasn't here, but this power destroyer, I discovered it just today. Okay, right now it's like midnight, I think it is. Let me just check super quick. No, it's 1.43 a.m. So it's all—it's already, um, it should be somewhat yesterday. But let's just say I discovered this one. Um, must have been around 7, 6 p.m. of yesterday. And I was like, oh my god, it's a destroyer. And the guy lived close by where my school was at. So I was like, okay. So I have only one day or so because... Basically, I contacted the guy right away. I asked him, how much do you want? And I and he told me, how much do you offer? And I was like, well, these robots are usually around 400 pesos. And he told me, well, if you pick it up today, it'll be 300 pesos. And I'm like, whoa, that's nice. So what I ended up doing was I begged my dad. My dad ended up taking me and I paid 300 pesos for this beauty. Now, it's really played with. The guy who owned it told me he was the first owner and of course he was the uh, the guy that actually had it for the first time so he played with it as a kid and that's uh, <laughs> yeah, beautiful isn't it I'm basically giving you guys the position it was at on the pictures I did turn it on and everything it first would not power on and it was because there's a little you know a little rust on the back which I'll show but I'll go ahead and show the overall shape of it. Number one, it's dirty. It's one. The first thing to notice is that it's really dirty from plenty of spots. And of course, I've never seen a destroyer in this condition because I've never owned a destroyer that was used or tampered. You know, not tampered, but you know, like used. We see that there's plenty of dust, this painting marks. And we see that the back of the head is actually, blue. I think it's like dark blue, just like what my blue headed destroyer has. And the, the front is actually red. Now, one thing is, I don't know, and I doubt, that this one actually has chrome paint underneath. Doesn't look like it. But, of course, usually these destroyers in the mouth, they would actually have chrome underneath. But, again, in this case, it's not even this painted, so it's not even worth, you know, watching. Um, I'm guessing this must be the same generation as the one that Jordan got me, due to the fact it has the sticker and everything on the back. I'm guessing... Let me just see if I can take this battery off. This is like the terminal that was, you know, rusted the most. And that's why when I first put the batteries in, it would not work. The guy told me that it would make lights and sound. And I was like, well, it's pretty descriptive. And I told him like, I told him, well, these robots don't walk anymore and everything. And they're pretty badly made. Um, kind of, kind of a lie, but kind of truth at the same time. You guys can see it is decently rusted. Same with the second contact, it's actually rusted. And we see that the QC in this one is 6. And we see that it's rusted there, and it has been, it, it, it got corroded at some point, because you guys can see how bad, the you know, how the paint faded out. Um, other than that, the other contacts are also a little bit rusted. Like that. But, you know, it must be just moisture or something. Only God knows where this thing has been. But yeah, of course, it's it's one of the most bare destroyers one can see. It has no battery cover, no uh, weapons or anything, so it's pretty bare. Now, I did bring my destroyer's gun and shield for the hell of it, my personal one. But again, it just won't work like that. You know, it just, I just don't feel like doing it right now, like putting the gun and everything. Anyways, so let's go back to the robot. A little bit more of the view, of course, it's dirty everywhere, and there's a little d detail, of course, that is that this arm is actually broken. It broke at some point, they tampered with it, and they forgot, you know, of course, when you, when you try to glue this arm back in place, usually what ends up happening is the, you cannot put this screw back in, and that's basically what they did right here, they didn't put it back in. The contacts, uh, there's one that seems to be there. Yeah, they, they, they are both there. That's good. 
but of course the arm piece is actually a little messed up. It's a little turned if you guys can see it like it's not supposed to be that high it's supposed to be a bit lower but of course when they fixed it up they tried putting some putty magic mighty putty however they call it in the US of course here we call it poxypol poxylina you know they use both things because you can see the disgusting gray and then if you see a little closer I don't know if it's let me see if I can find it where I actually saw it and I was like yeah they used both chemicals here they also use poxypol which is that little darker gray blob right there which is basically a two compound glue well not glue but it's like something that just solidifies of course don't expect this one to walk because of course it doesn't legs seem a little loose although i don't know and i won't know until tomorrow or whenever i take it apart this arm is already starting to snap off as i said before it's it's really scratched like the feet are really scratched everything is generally dirty it's get, starting to get rust in some places. Um, this is actually really stiff, so I doubt this has ever been moved. There. I don't think it has ever been... Actually, maybe it has, because there is a little dispainting mark right there. Where that hits. So probably it was. Anyways, other than that, it seems like the, the spinning knob is broken on it. Because you guys hear that when I do this. There's like a little rattling inside, and of course, if my memory doesn't kill me, these have the rotating knob in the front. Right there. Well, actually, looks like the, uh, it's, looks like if it was disconnected or something. Let me check. Well, first, I'm going to show how it works. You must surrender. The batteries are a little low. That's another thing. And of course, I was expecting this one to have a straight axis. No, it's bent just like my first one. I think that the fucking knob, the fucking lever is actually loose from, oh my god, it is. The fucking lever is loose from both spots. Don't ask me how the fucking lever is loose from both places where it's supposed to be hooked at. And it's still inside there. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say this. This is the first time I actually see one of these in Argentina in person because I've seen another one offline and that was like the only one I've ever seen but it was far too expensive for what it was even though it had the shield and it was in a little bit better condition it was just far too much but this is basically the entire overview of it too much dust dirt a broken arm that I'll have to fix up as you guys can see it's, it doesn't even have the screw it's and it, like doesn't have two out of the three screws it's supposed to have how fucking clever is that and uh, of course Mainly just cleaning and fixing those gears because as I said the gears of the walking and these are always broken That's not a a new thing or anything if you get a destroyer and the gear, you know the walking is broken You have been warned. It's never gonna walk so if you get a Destroyer that actually does walk forward Make a video because it's a fucking miracle because as I said None work. None walk at this point. It's just like getting a robot 2001 that actually walks. Impossible. You would have to be a lucky, miraculous son of a bitch to own one. And as I said before, it's impossible because the gears break. So, there you have it. That's practically the entire thing. So, I'll let it run for a little bit so you guys can see how it, how it works. And other than that, I'll stop.
As you guys can see, even the little belt is already bad. So I'm gonna have to change plenty of things on it, but fuck, it's worth it. It's uh, the first destroyer that I spot in Argentina. I'm pretty sure it's not the only one because the guy had it since he was young, so I'm guessing there's plenty more, but as I said, it's a really nice pick. And you guys are gonna see that tomorrow, or maybe, well, today, let's just call it. I'm gonna have a few more robots that I'll make videos on that are also part of the legendary tall robots. <laughs> and those are, like, new ones that I'm gonna, you know, find. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and as always, bye.